here's what's happened so far. With Hendrik and a horde of Heliodorian soldiers hot on their heels, Kolo and Eric have hurled themselves through the door of departure and into the great unknown. While soaking in the steam baths of Hotto, they, seem a little, they meet a little lost girl called Connie and set out to help her find her father. While searching, they decide to help a girl called Veronica, who's lost her sister somewhere. She says she's a skilled magic user from a place called Arborea, and that she was unlucky enough to be spirited away by monsters. She managed to escape, but it seems her sister Serena was last seen setting off for the monster's den in an attempt to effect a rescue. Fearing for her safety, our hero and Eric agree to join Veronica in going after her. How is it going everyone? It's your boy LF Jake, and we are at episode 6 of our Dragon Quest XI playthrough. Now, I don't remember perfectly, but I think we're leaving, right? I think we're just leaving the tune. And I think we're heading east, if I remember correctly. Maybe west. It's probably west, right, towards the cryptic crypt. Oh, it says down the top right. Head for the Hotto Step. And what? Search for Veronica's sister in the cryptic crypt. Whose deer is this? Oh, okay. Let's go. With the road sign there, probably saying Mount Huji and Hotto. No, I don't think we're going to Mount Huji. Perhaps later. The story will push us in that direction. Ah, oh, the summoning bell for the horse. Do I want to take the horse? I'm never too sure. Still gotta fight everyone that's new. A group of lump wizards! So she's getting involved, but she doesn't have a health bar. Physical attacks aren't very strong. I presume she specialises in spells and such. Nice. I wonder if she comes with a health bar. She's just like constantly immortal. It's kind of huge. Um, I don't need to. In fact, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Just so I can forge. You want to make a gold ring, please? Hopefully, at some point, we need to return back to Hotto. Awesome. Amazing. Yay. And I don't want to wear it. That's not part of the quest. Let us... I mean, we'll, we'll save it anyway, sure. I believe we've just passed five hours of gameplay. Oh, not yet. How exciting. Five hours of gameplay, but we're on... Yeah, on episode six, so we finished five hours, okay. I was going to say, that didn't make a lot of sense. Rest. Till dawn, why not? And onwards we go. Oh, little ghost boy.
What is this? Iron ore. So I assume finding gemstones like that is just a mining spot. A cryptic crypt. Oh my gosh, four enemies, okay. Okay. Okay, defense is lower. There we go. That time I saw Eric do a special attack. And we'll do Sizz against these three. And now these guys should start dropping like flies. I mean, I'm probably better off just doing this again, right? Should kill both of those. Easy. Cool. Who else wants some? <laughs> and we'll use our skill points. Let's see. So we've got a critical hit chance. We've got a dragon slash, which I actually can't afford. We've got Greatsword Guard. We've got Pep Chance plus 5%. Yeah, let's do that one. Eight points, though. Yeah, screw it. Why not? I go with Stone Aware. Ah! Easy fight. Bit of sizz. Bit of snap, crackle, and pop. Easy. So we got a dead end to the left, so it's got to be an item. More iron ore. These enemies are pretty clueless. Oh, new enemy. Okay. No point in me doing my group attack this time. Amazing. for making 30 preemptive attacks on enemies. Nice. Any items in this room? I can see a chest just down here. But I'm not entirely sure which ways. Ooh, okay. Ah! I saw two of the plants that give me visions. The chest. Yggdrasil leaf. Okay. So there's a way this way. But it appears to be closed by looking at the map. Yep. Probably a chest in this room. Or not. Back up we go. These ways seem to lead the same way. So this gives me a vision, right? I almost 
almost forgot. There's a trap up ahead. I forget my shadow if it wasn't so on. I can't go falling into my own trap now, can I? What would the others say? Right, I'd better go the long way round. Okay. That is handy information. What's strange to me is there's two ways to go north that both link up to the same way. I'm going that way. But just for the sake of doing the right thing. Well, this doubles up as a mount. No! New enemy, so we'll fight it, I guess. This isn't where he said the trap was. Might be able to get a double kill here. You say? Thanks. <laughs> Epic. Who else wants some? I think this is the right way. A monster must have climbed up here, so do I need a monster to climb out? Yep. This boy right here. No group attack is going to help me here either. Thank you, Eric. We're on a wavelength here. I love it. Good. You okay? Not bad, but not good enough. Want some? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, look at me holding onto the horns. Amazing. Can I keep this guy now? So this time. This way. Ooh. Ooh. I almost forgot. I can't go falling into my own trap. This is the same one as before. The same vision, right? Oh! I've gone the wrong way. The same plant as before, obviously. So he went this way. And then there's a dead end over here. So maybe there's an item. Oh, mini medal for me. I thought maybe I could sprint into this guy. That is not true. 
I can go myself so I can see my whole team. And Eric's gonna level up, which means I don't need to heal. I mean, I'm seeing a chest. I've got to go for it. What? A couple of normal attacks should uh, finish this one nice and quick. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, MP. Bit of a risky move not healing there, but you know, I'll do what I'll do. That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Oh. Wait, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Serena, wake up! It's me, Veronica. Hmm? That's your sister? Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together! So sorry. It's just I. Oh, well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and. Veronica! It, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? Who. But. How did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> Yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... <sighs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? <sighs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drained my... age. <gasps> What I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one. Okay, we get it. We get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. The plot thickens. And the save point beckons. Oh, I just healed as well. Amazing. Uh, this one. So I wonder, do I get both of them with me now in this next fight? Or in any next fight? Let's get one more vision. 
probably a way to unlock this door. Okay, sounds easy enough. Umbra Kadumbra. Oh. Are you potty? You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape. And you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? You knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadow's respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. The Lord of Shadows? That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. <laughs> Huh? Oh. Huh? <gasps> oh, smashing. I do love guests. <laughs> Especially when they bring me presents. If it isn't the one that got away. Talk about it in the jackpot. Now, just sit tight. While we suck every ounce of magic out of you, boys, this lot have earned a VIP treatment. Get cracking! <sighs> Looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. <laughs> There's only one way to fight, it's gonna end. But you give me my magic pack, yeah. Uh, we're gonna change some tactics, we're gonna be following orders, please. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Um... Hey, who's. Robo Rouser, when did you learn that? Someone's an Earth Sigil that will inflict damage on the enemy every time they try to act. Okay. I don't know how many times that works. 23? Oh my god. I thought I was gonna die. Perhaps this will help. Okay, Serena's got some buffs. Let's go for a sizz on the three of these guys. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice four damage. 
Um, I guess we should send another one to sleep. You want some? <laughs> Ta-da! Amazing. And colors getting buffed as well. Oh my god, that was a huge move. 40 damage. Okay, that's good. I didn't have the option to target anyone there, so hopefully... Oh wow, okay. There's like a big sigil. Huge heal, thank you very much Serena. These guys aren't dying! Oh my god! Okay, there's one down. Big block. There's another one down. Okay. That could be the big ice attack next, but luckily we've all been healed. Uh, let's see if we can send him to sleep. You want some? Easy. Uh, get time to heal. Are you alright? Thanks. Um... Yeah. Does a normal attack wake him up? I assume so. Still awake. Perhaps this will help. Bam. How's it going? <gasps> oh boy. Here. Are we just killing? Okay, let me just send it to sleep. Amazing. So yeah, it looks like a normal attack does just wake him up. Yeah! Nice. Oh, that's a lot of XP. We've got a level up for Colo. And there's one for Eric. We'll wait until like level 15 before we level up again. The skill oh, points. I'll never be the Lord of Shadows right hand man if I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams shattered. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. So the Lord of Shadows must be the actual Darkspawn, right? <sighs> we'll find out soon enough, huh? Right. Time to get my magic back.
This works. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's still a kid. But you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. <laughs> No need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Bit creepy, but okay. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the Luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now... If I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. Hopefully Connie's father should be here. Eggdrasil's chosen. Awarded for being recognised as the Luminary by the two twins from Arborea. Oh, there is an item here. More iron ore. Yummy, yummy, yum. There could be a chest. Oh, okay, I'm going to run around. There could be a chest at one of these staircases, so I have to quickly have a look. Otherwise, I'd feel stupid. Some pots, which I'm not going to bother with. Now, we took care of that potty old fathead and his cronies. Thanks. I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? And what about your poor little daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. Wait, you know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Oh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, 
Just say the word. Noah, huh? Where have I heard that name before? Huh. Oh, look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. <laughs> well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest. I mean, you say fishy, he's going back to his daughter. That's normal behaviour, no? Colo and his companions make their way out of the labyrinth and head back to Hotto, where they spend the night at the inn. Then, morning comes. Now, I have got two side quests to cash in. I've got the ring, I've got the iron. I don't need to talk to her. The pink one has just offered me advice about where to go next. Awake at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Hmm. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says. Honestly. I do have a weird suspicion about Eric. Like, he's, I don't know why he's still with us and why he's so eager to always be with us. I mean, I get it with the Luminary, but I don't know. I thought there was some sort of ulterior motive there. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths, no? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. And you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar! But first, I must find the person who wanted the iron. I think it was this person over here. You! You found the ore! There you go. Colo hands over the iron ore. Now I must confess, in truth, we've had enough ore. I wish to test you. You passed with a plob. You have a true miner's heart. You may keep the ore. Yay. But that is not all. I must reward you further. This tome, too, is yours. I love iron arms. I guess I've learnt iron swords and stuff. Iron broadswords. Cast iron claymores. You've learned a lot about mining, about ore, about yourself. Amazing. And now to the bar where that old man is that wants the gold ring. Oh, was that a side quest? Against all the odds, as a salmon swims upstream, her father returns. 
Now reunited, Connie's father celebrates. He drinks like a fish. That wasn't a side quest, was it? That was just a dude that wanted to tell me where to go. Come on, Daddy. Let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. Just one more for the road, sweetie. You never know. He might have some hot gossip that I need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumors, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> and what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? Well, I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and their monsters they kidnapped me. I only stuck my head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have wall up the lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and... Well, I just hope she's all right. <sighs> she... kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Crikey! You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, eh? Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, Connie and me was traveling across the desert. When we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. We just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's bleeding palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was, this rainbow-colored branch thing. All shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know top-end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself? Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the Luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. <laughs> we should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Yep, got that the first time. Thank you. Oh, they're doing it again. Yay! Well, I come and see we're going to join the party. <laughs> so, healing mage, offensive mage. To get to Galopolis. Oh, a Galopolis pass. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through. Incredible. But before we leave, hello there. I have a ring for you. There you go. All I'd hope for and more. Oh yes, I bet a boomerang. Might be stronger than uh 
than Eric's weapon. Oh, Veronica and Serena are both level 12. Let me have a quick scan. Ooh, silver plate is a shield. It's also a plate. But it's better than what I'm using. Ooh. Oh, it's ever so slightly weaker. But I'm going to go with it. Because I know it's going to pack a punch. Veronica's staff. Ooh, or a whip. Okay. Got a hairband. Silk robe. And then you can use wands or a lance. Hmm. Hmm. Might be worth giving her a staff. The heal should still be decent, right? The one seems kind of bad. I'll go for a spear for a bit. Good to go. So, as it stands, the only people that use the same weapon is Colo and Eric can both use a sword, but that's it. How are we doing for money? We've actually got a fair bit of money, but I'm still not comfortable spending it. So, is it southeast or southwest? Oh! I've just remembered something important. We have a long journey ahead of us, don't we, Colo? Well, I happen to know a handy little spell that will make life a lot easier for us. Just give me a minute. Hey, ah, there. Is that a fast travel? You can use the spell I just taught you to travel back to anywhere you've been before, quick as a flash. So if you want to come back here to Hyo, for example, just cast Zoom. Think of Hyo and you'll be there just like that. Right, now you've got this little beauty in your bag of tricks, let's go find this Yggdrasil branch, shall we? Galopolis is southwest of here. So I can fast travel to anywhere that I've been before. That is kind of huge. I wonder if it only works with towns, though. Like, would I be able to fast travel to any of the icons on the map? I guess we'll find out in the coming days. Uh, so I've got to go up here to the right. Looks like we're completely ignoring uh, the mountain there. We should probably grab a horse as well, right? for me to have a go at. Oh. No. Robber rabbit. <coughs> Surely four's the limit, right? Everyone fight wisely apart from Let's Cola. do this. Veronica knows her stuff. <laughs> Amazing. Did I do all right? Just, just fine, thank you. See, now our team seems exponentially stronger, and I'm not complaining. But I expect the game to be a lot harder to keep up. Oh, I was going to say, it has to be a chest around here somewhere. 
Another mini medal. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh dear, oh dear. I shall be too late, I fear. Oh, if someone doesn't step in to save the day, Tickington time is well and truly up. Tick tock, the clock won't stop. It really is five minutes to midnight. If uh, only someone would come to our aid. Hold on a tick. You've clocked me. Am I right? Can it be true? Can you really see me? Well, it's about time. I was beginning to think I was totally invisible. This can only mean one thing. You're a hero, aren't you? Oh, tickety-boo. You're finally here, and not a moment too soon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hero. My name's Ickle. I'm a tockle, over from the Chicken Doom Way, and we need your help. We're having a terrible time of it at the moment. Can I ask you to come and be a hero of the hour? Sure. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hero. I knew it wouldn't take you more than a moment. Th uh, th 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 I knew it wouldn't take you more than a moment's thought to agree. Uh, Colo, are you talking to yourself now? Has the sun gone to your head or something? Well, the clock is ticking. Come on, it's time to show you and your friends the way to Tickington. Follow me. Oh, but wait, before we head off, this might be a good time to record your journey in an adventure log. Shall I do that for you? It won't take two ticks. Well, gang. Uh, we are just under an hour in of this episode, and the game has presented us with a save point. So I think we're going to take the game's advice, save it here, and also end this episode here. Gang, thank you for watching. I appreciate you as always. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far, and uh, I'll catch you for the next one soon. Until then, ciao.